that are making me sad and mad. Uh, today's news, I think, is the disgusting cherry on top as the Braves decide to part ways with best sideline reporter in baseball, Kelsey Wingert. I don't care what the reason is. All I know is it's a mistake. But I can say that I am proud to call her my friend, to call her a great inspiration to me. She, We've continued the relationship we forged on May 15th. The fact that she even um, took the time to watch my videos, to like my videos, to give me advice, to uh, just that smile is infectious and that's all I needed to know that this is going to go somewhere and uh, wherever Kelsey you might not be on the Brave sideline anymore but you will forever and always be a Brave to me and when I do um, get a job with the Braves or with MLB or wherever I end up you will be one of the first calls or tweets that I make because I would not be where I am today without uh, you and the friendship and the inspiration. Actually, I think I listened to her behind the braids with Ricky Mast last year, and I felt like she was talking to me, just the, her journey, a lot of similarities, and uh, getting to talk to her um, on May 15th and getting to know her and just how great of a person she is. It's absolutely ridiculous that she um, won't be on the Braves sideline. It's just like a piece that's missing, but um, it doesn't matter because Kelsey will, you, whatever's next for you, you're going to do amazing and you will always have a friend in me wherever you end up. And even if you're uh, on the uh, um, Mets reporter, I'll even pull for you. I might not pull for the Mets, but I'll definitely pull for you. You are absolutely amazing. I love you. Um, I hope you get this message. I know you've got a bunch of Twitter messages, but uh, much love. As always, go Braves, even though I'm kind of mad at you today, Braves, for making a wrong, wrong decision. But love you, Kelsey. I can't wait to see what you do next because you're going to do amazing.